Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, I did a video demonstrating how to replace the sky using Luminar AI. After that video posted, somebody commented, and I'm paraphrasing, I'm so sick and tired of these videos. All you do is show how to replace a sky in a normal image. Why don't you do something harder, like replace a sky in a window or something like that? Now, I don't know if he sounded that way, but that's the way I read his comment, kind of like in an angry pirate voice. Uh, but uh, he's right. Uh, probably me and probably everyone else that's demonstrated Luminar AI and we, we've replaced skies, we've done it just replacing a conventional sky. We haven't done anything more difficult. Now, I don't have any images of a window with a sky visible through the window, but I do have this image. It's an image I took of the side view mirror of my car. And you could see that uh, city hall and some condos are back here. And we have a sky in there already. That's the original sky, of course. And I'm gonna replace it with um, another sky. And it's gonna be super easy. There's not much to it. You a couple clicks and you're done. But I added a twist to it, all right, just to make it more interesting. So I'm going to go to the sky replacement filter and I'm going to go to the sky selection and I have some of my own skies loaded in here and I'm going to go to a very specific one. I called it Morganti Sky 007. So I'm going to replace it with this sky. All right, it replaced the sky perfectly. All right, video could be done, but I mentioned I added a twist. So we're going to go to the horizontal position slider and I'm going to move it to the left. I think to the left. Yeah, to the left. And you'll see, oh, a kite appears. So my whole point actually of making this video, not only to show you how to replace a sky in something that's not a conventional, maybe sky replacement situation, is to let you know that if you're out there taking photos of clouds and sunsets and things um, to use in the sky replacement filter, you also could take photos of objects, things that are in the sky. In this case, I'll show you, I have this image right here. And all I did, I was walking through the park and I saw someone flying a kite. As a matter of fact, nobody was flying this kite. This kite was just tied down to the ground and it was flying. I didn't actually see anyone around. Uh, so, but I took a photo of the kite. And now you could see you could replace it, uh, replace the sky with this image and the kite will be in your shot. Uh, something like this as well. I was just walking along the waterfront and there was a bunch of seagulls flying above a beach here. And I just took a photo of the seagulls uh, flying in the sky. And similarly, I could go then to uh, Luminar AI. And let's say I want to use that image instead. So I'll go to uh, my custom skies and we'll go to 006, I think it is. Yeah, and there's the seagulls. Now, one thing you have to be careful of is depth uh, because, uh, for example, um, if I move this around, you'll see that like the seagull on the left, it's, it's going behind City Hall. And this is the federal building right here. So it's going behind those buildings. Now that's not like a humongous pterodactyl um, looking to fight King Kong or anything like that. That's just a seagull. So we have to really be careful uh, with the depth of our images uh, or depth of our objects when we're doing this. So make sure that it looks like it's in the right spot. Now I don't care for this um, this guy as much as this guy. I prefer this one. Now one thing, probably the astute viewers that you are, you probably noticed, is that it didn't replace the sky in the reflection on the back window here. I'm hoping that when uh, Skylum updates Luminar, they said by the end of the first quarter, so that's by the end of March, they're supposed to have an update that will allow reflections to happen when you replace the sky. Now, what they're talking about specifically is if you have water in the scene, like glass water, not water like this, but water that would reflect the sky, that when you replace the sky, the mirror reflection will happen in the water. What I'm hoping is that will often happen in things like this that aren't water, that aren't flat, like horizontal on the lower part of the image that they're on this on the side of the image and it's you know just reflecting in a, in a window so that would be cool if um, that does that as well and hopefully we get that update soon and we'll see if that works so here's your video where I replace the sky in a non-traditional situation I guess and I also just want to add that 
along with the sky, you could have things in the sky, birds, kites, drones, whatever's flying across, hot air balloons. Uh, those will get replaced as well. So thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>